Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we are going to look at operations with decimals. We're going to do addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division with decimals inside of this lesson. So let's get started. We are going to do, as I said, those four basic operations. Start with adding. When you're trying to add numbers with decimals, you line up the decimals, add like normal, and then stop. I just needed to put a stop because it's like a stop sign. It's, you know, a nice octagon. All right. Um, so let's take this question, 15.6 plus 8.52. Whenever I get a question like this, I write it in this form kind of vertical, um, and I line up the decimal. Now in this case, you'll notice I have one decimal, or a decimal in the tenths column um, on the 15.6, and two decimals on the second one. When I get this kind of situation, I fill in the blanks with zeros. And now I can add like normal, 0 plus 2, 6 and 5 is 11, carry the 1, 5 and 8 is 13, plus the 1 that we carried was 14, carried that 1 and got 24.12. Now, this is not a lesson on how to add. It's just how we use, how we kind of incorporate decimals with adding. If you want a full lesson on how to add and carry over numbers while you're adding, um, you're going to need to look at a different mini lesson. This one we're just quickly going over all four basic operations and how we deal with them when we have decimals. All right, let's look at subtracting. With subtracting, you line up the decimals, subtract like normal, and then stop. It's not nearly as fun with a yellow stop sign, but eh, we did it anyway. All right, so here's my question, 27.8 minus 11.46. I'm going to set it up like this vertically fill in the zeros just like before, and then subtract like normal. Again, it's not a lesson on how to do the subtraction, just how I deal with decimals when I'm subtracting. I put the numbers in order like that, line up the decimals, fill in the zeros, and then we subtract like normal. All right? So that's the same with addition and subtraction. You're basically lining up the decimals and doing it like normal. Multiplication. There, I have an entire mini lesson on multiplication. Um, if you'd like to look at that, um, it's inside this playlist. But it's all on multiplications with decimals, and basically these are the steps. You ignore the decimals, multiply like normal, and then count the decimals at the end. Let me show you an example, and this example comes from that mini lesson on multiplying with decimals. So first off, I multiply this 2 times each digit in the top, just like I would normally multiplying. So I'll go 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 4 is 8, and 2 times 6 is 12. I'll write all the numbers down like that. Next, I'm going to go to my second digit and multiply 3 times all the terms in there. But because it's in the tens, or because of the place value where it is, I'm going to add a zero down here, and then multiply three times two, three times four, and three times six. Then I'm going to add up those numbers just like I would when multiplying four to all of the way across, okay? So I multiply just like normal. This is the way we multiply when we have um, digits, you know, like a two-digit number and a three-digit number. So you notice I basically ignored the decimal through all of that multiplying. Now what I'm going to do is to do counting the decimals. Now how do we count the decimals? You count the number of numbers on the right of the decimal in the original question. So 6.42 times 3.2. I count those numbers. 1, 2, 3. All right? There are three numbers there on the right of the decimal. So I'm going to have three numbers here on the right of the decimal for my final answer. That's it. Okay, that's pretty straightforward with multiplying. Multiply just like normal, count the number, number of numbers on the right of the decimal, and that will be the number of numbers on the right of the decimal in your final answer. All right. The last operation is division. With division, we move the decimals to the right, divide like normal, and then notice that you may need to add zeros because we're using long division. Again, this is a, um, a, a mini lesson that I made. I made an entire mini lesson on 
um, long division with decimals and you can check that out if you need more details on this but remember this is a mini lesson just showing you the basics of what to do with decimals kind of as a prerequisite you would know how to do long division coming into this all right with a question like this if I have decimals in our two numbers that I have here what I'm going to do is move the decimals to the right if I move um, a decimal to the right on the top I also move a decimal to the right on the bottom so notice I had them here and then they they both moved to the right and so we got rid of them now I'm going to do long division just like normal how many times does 53 go into 63 one time 1 times 53 and then I'm going to subtract bring the 6 down how many times does 53 go into 106 it goes in twice I multiply 2 times 53 to get 106 bring it down and I get 0 as my final answer so a quick overview we did adding subtracting multiplying and dividing of numbers with decimals I know this was quick it was meant to be a quick mini lesson review if you do need more additional um, steps to make sure that you understand all the steps for all of these operations I made a mini lesson entirely on multiplying and a mini lesson entirely on dividing and I'll put the links in there for those ones for adding and subtracting if you need some additional help um, I would look up mini lessons on adding and subtracting positive numbers I hope that lesson was helpful for you have a wonderful day